Hey peeps, Tyler here with a random video talking about Furbies or my Furbies anyway. Um, because I'm a '90s kid, I had I was born in 1989, and I had a Furby of some sort when I was a kid. I don't remember it that much, but I do remember that. It wouldn't shut up and I was trying to sleep so I took the batteries out this is not the same one I took the batteries out went to lay back down and it continued to talk making me think it was possessed and throw it the fuck out just get the hell out of me so all those memes of like evil Furbies coming back to get you for the longest time I'm like yep I relate you know all those millennial evil Furby memes. But, um, at some point, some years ago, a few years ago, I read some article, I don't know where it's at now, or where it was, but I read an article about that, about how Furbies scared the shit out of so many of us 90s kids by doing that. We would take out the batteries because they wouldn't shut the hell up when we were trying to sleep or whatever, and they would continue talking, so we'd just, you know, assume that they're possessed. It turns out there was some science, I don't remember what the hell it was, but some scientific mechanical reason for it. It doesn't even matter what it was now, because I'm like, oh, there's a logical scientific explanation for it. It just, there's not possessed evil Furbies running around. That's awesome. Wish I knew that as a kid. <laughs> so what did I do? In 2021, I'm like, I am going to tackle this ridiculous fear of Furbies I've had, now that I know they're not freaking possessed. And I got this from Etsy in 2021. I, he doesn't have batteries in him now, just because I didn't want to, like, drain them, and I don't know where I put them and whatnot, but... Yeah. I got a Furby. I named him Frost. I did... You know, talk to him a bit. I had batteries in him for a bit, and so he he does work. And he's just so damn cute. He's blue. I love blue. Okay, that is frost. And then at some point, also in, I got all of these in 2021. I also got this from Etsy because I found out about the Furby fandom. I'm not really in the Furby fandom, but it is a thing. And I heard about oddball Furbies where people like make stuff like this. And then there's also like long boys. And anyway, I found this on Etsy, an oddball Furby that somebody made. Obviously, it's not going to talk. It's stuffed. He just had the face on there. So I named him Art. Because reasons. And of course, you know, he's like Frankenstein-esque. I had to, because Frankenstein-esque. Come on. And I know this is like weird and probably cringy or whatever. I don't care. They're cute and they're fun. And then I got this one, also from Etsy. Which came with a bonus one I did not order. It, it, people on Etsy just do that a lot. Put in extras, and I got this. So this is Prance. I did not name him. I actually forgot what his name was and searched Furby in my Etsy purchases to find him. Because I forgot his name. His name is Prance. So yeah. This one, I know they have like... Well, yeah, they do have eight legs. I just named her eight. Because octopus. So, yeah. That's all I got. And probably, I don't know if I'll ever get any more. Because I got all these in 2021. Because I got them all from Etsy. I couldn't actually remember. But they all showed up. And I looked for Furbies in my purchases. So, yeah. Are you a fellow 90s kid that was terrified by Furbies back then? Do you have Furbies? 
Do you like Furbies? Are you terrified of them? I guess I'm both. Even though logically I know they're not possessed now, even though as a kid I could have sworn it was possessed. <laughs> now it's just like a funny story. So yeah, I got a couple Furbies. One, only one can actually talk, the others are all stuffed animals. But yeah. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell if you want to. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.